is that the nation is panicking. 71% of us want the National Guard in our cities tonight. 58% of us want the military in our cities tonight. All right, the people are panicking. The country is on fire. Now, who is attacking us? Mr. Esper should know this. Right. It's Antifa, Department of Justice, NYPD. Others are saying this very clearly. These are people, by the way, that we faced back in the 1960s and 70s and early 80s. These were people who were far leftist, Marx, Lenin, you know, folks who, who embraced that ideology. They allied with Black Panther movements, and it took many years to finally put it down. Very dangerous. And now this same group who is allied, by the way, with the Democratic Socialists, we're talking to Bernie Bros and Ms. Ocasio-Cortez, they're back. They're back with firebombs. They're back with bricks in our suburbs, in our downtowns. That's something that Mr. Esper clearly doesn't understand. And then finally, we have a media that is feeding this flame, this horrific fire, this seditiousness. You have brought this up many times, including tonight. Let me read a, a headline from Slate magazine. Just yesterday, it said the following. Peaceful protests are an important tool, but so is violence. So now we have a media filling the airways full of this crap. Yeah. Put it all together. And the piece that you mentioned, no more police because we're going to defund those folks. We can't put forward the National Guard because that would be escalation. So now we take off the military from the table. What does that leave, Tucker? Let me tell you what it leaves. Vigilante justice. That's exactly it's you and me and everybody watching this program arming ourselves. Is that how we run a republic? No, sir, it is not. You're and you exactly do not want a country that goes there. And that is precisely where the nation is headed. And we need for all of our leadership to understand that. And if Secretary Esper doesn't get it, doesn't understand that the oath is to protect ourselves from threats, both foreign and domestic, by God, get the hell out of the Pentagon and let somebody lead who gets it. Because that is the oath that he took, that I took, and that the people of this country demand of our leadership in this moment because we are on fire. Someone do something about it.